Probably the most important thing I like is I love keeping them organized because you know how you get. You start throwing them around after you get done fishing. So I keep them pretty well organized in my own tackle. This is one of those, this case right here is a Kawakatsu. They're not that expensive, but they really keep them well organized. So I totally recommend them. They really easy for your hair jigs. From time to time, I have sold them on website, 3 poundfishingcom but we're just gonna organize them here. All right, there you go, we're set up. Baby, you gotta check this weather out. This is winter fishing at its best. No wind, absolute bluebird day. I'm not sure it gets any better than that, folks. And guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna fish with hair jigs. A lot of these hair jigs are available at three pound fishing, but if you don't fish with hair jigs, if you're new to hair jigs, this is gonna be the episode for you. Because let me tell you, let me get these here. I've got a ton of colors that we're going to be trying out, all new. Hopefully a lot of these are going to find their way onto the website. And uh, we're definitely going to find out which one is the most successful right now. So got them crappie breaks right there, rocking and rolling. Got the new three pound fishing prototypes in the boat. And one of them is actually done and ordered and on their way. So if you're waiting for three pound fishing rods, you're going to be able to get those at threepoundfishing.com and we've got somebody else we're working with possibly there as well but either way you go to threepoundfishing.com and those rods will start to show up there probably in about a month and a half or so maybe even earlier who knows but that's pretty soon just in time for the the spring bite but today this episode is about hair jigs that's what we're going to be fishing with they were chomping on them yesterday so i can't wait to cannot wait to show you what these fish look like and how aggressive they get for a 132nd ounce hair jig. Thanks guys, let's do this. Can we get a double for the first catch of the day? Here it comes. Come on, baby. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Winter fishing at its best. I did a pro release on mine, but you got yours up. Folks, this is JD. We'll just call him the bearded one. <laughs> and uh, he's fishing with a small plastic and I'm fishing with a hair jig, the zombie. And we just doubled up. Although I did a professional release. JD is uh, gonna keep some fish today. We got another one coming right here. Come on, baby. Hands at work. Oh. I'll tell you what, they've been following this guy. This is Zombie, it is available on the website. I love it, it's probably one of my favorite jigs called the Zombie with that green head. A 132nd ounce jig head. Ooh, yeah. JD. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start my own show here. Yeah. This oh is a gosh. these are big fish here. Oh I, there's no way I'm eating that one. Look at that. That is a hog. <laughs> yeah. I'll let that one go. He's gotta be over two, he's full. Measure that measuring device is on that step. there folks
That guy made a U-turn. Yep, here he comes. Right there, folks. Here he comes. Bam! He's got you. Did you feel it? Did you feel oh, it? I felt oh, I bet you didn't feel I that. I felt one. it. Oh, you didn't feel it. You know you didn't feel it. <laughs> oh my gosh, another good one. What you got there? <laughs> That's a little guy. Not too bad. That's a good fish. All right, we've caught plenty of fish with this zombie. You can get that on the website, but we're gonna go ahead and take it off and we're gonna try the swamp jig, which has done very good lately. So, and because you guys haven't seen the, the loop knot a thousand times, we're gonna show it to you one more time just to so this is the swamp guys it's a black it's kind of like a, a dirty green with a white and gray tail i think it really gives off a, a natural presentation in terms of the colors i really like it it's good stuff now i'm throwing with the sniping braid small stuff optimal it's perfect for my like i talk about it all the time it's what we use on every guide trip every rod has the small stuff because it's a caster's dream it allows you to cast these extremely light jigs anybody that ever tries it they always say they have to learn how to cast again so that's the rig now i probably should just go ahead and add a split shot today but because we're doing an episode on casting 30 second ounce jigs this episode i'm going to stick with it and there it is that is the swamp right there now I will add the original fish formula, usually right off the bat. All I do is soak that with the original fish formula right here. And I'll do that at least the first start off with and sometimes add it as I see fit. So there you go. Choked that swamp. That swamp air jig on fire. You gotta love it. change up to another hair jig. Oh swamp did good. Time to change them out though. And try some of these different colors. Candy corn. I'll give it a shot. Hey guys, thanks for joining today. Hair jigs, check them out. Three pound fishing at their candy corn. Awesome. It'll be on the website. Take it easy, guys.